I'm Alex Paulton. and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Talking Time Pieces, where we talk about watch collecting and horology. Today, I've got a Seiko SFK001 uh, Prospects GMT Diver, a really sharp piece, like the color too. Um, I've got a couple of issues with it, but for the most part, this is a really nice watch. Let's turn the camera around and take a close-up look at it. Here we have the Seiko SFK001 Prospects GMT Diver. It is a really nice piece. I have a few niggles about it, but all in all, for the money, this is really worth it. We're talking about 800 bucks or so for a Solar Quartz Travel GMT with a diving bezel, not a second GMT bezel, which I can go both ways on. It's the way the Omega Seamaster um, coaxial GMT is and uh, some others of that type because you know most people who are traveling are comfortable with uh, just the two time zones and some do want the three. They can always buy a watch that has a GMT bezel. Now, this has the SK, I'm sorry, the 5K65 movement in it, which is a solar movement with about nine months when fully charged power reserve but being a solar as long as it's exposed to the sunlight every day you're in great shape now this is a 13 and change thick it's a 45 millimeter diameter and the lug to lug is 51 and change sapphire crystal anti-reflective coated on the inner surface with a lumaprite on the hands and indices the, I really do like the color of this. This is a very nice looking piece and the orange of the GMT hand fits well with the color of the watch. As I said, it has a uh, diving bezel, not a GMT bezel, but like I said, some people prefer that. I can go either way personally on it myself. Now, if you noticed, I had to grip it from above because one of the things I like about it, but it makes it a little bit uh, awkward to use, is I like the way the case rides up on the sides. So it has almost a twisted lug look like a Speedmaster. And then that optical line carries up over the sides. It kind of shrouds the bezel grip a little bit. So when you do want to change the bezel you have to grip it from top and bottom because you can't get enough of a grip from the sides because of the way the case is shrouding the bezel grip but it does work nice and clean it feels crisp and it lines up pretty well you know so people have said things about seiko and alignment but this has some very good alignment it has a screw down offset crown and interesting uh, engraving on the back nothing fancy of course because it's a quartz piece i mean there are some quartz pieces that are fancier like the bruno sunla but this is a tool watch that's running about 800 bucks so i'm not expecting to see anything fancy in the back anyway the bracelet doesn't feel bad it's a little light stamped folding clasp and it does have stamped and it doesn't feel it doesn't feel bad it feels a little light but you know for the price point what are you looking at right it does have a dive deployant and you have to hook it on the inside and then it'll close up but which you know of course lends itself to the fact that it is a dive watch so dive deployant decent folding clasp and nice presentation so i really do like this piece it's a nice piece for the money and solar GMT, rugged, it's a good, all-around, useful, daily wear piece that, if you travel, even better. Now, as a travel GMT, the hour hand is uh, flying, and it is screwed down, as I mentioned. It's just a really sharp piece. My biggest niggle is I'm not thrilled with the size of the second time zone numerals that are on the face. They're there, but they're a little small, but it does have a two-tone presentation on the GMT numbers on the rehab. Let's take a look at it on the wrist real quick. Wristwatch check wearing my uh, 
Cartier Santos uh, XL Chrono on a rubber strap lets me wear it as more of a daily wear as opposed to being too fancy on the metal or the leather. It has a very nice wrist presence, good looking watch. And as I was saying, robust, good looking solar GMT, all in all, a good daily wear watch. So let's turn the camera around and uh, close out the episode. So that was the Seiko SFK001 uh, GMT solar powered quartz diver. A good watch and uh, well, if the zombie apocalypse ever came, it'd be a good one to have on your wrist. <laughs> Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a great one. Thank you.